Hello friends and YouTube jazz lovers. Welcome to another video of the mysterious night. In this video, I'm going to show you the tier list of 45th chess Olympiad, which is going on in the Budapest, Hungary. Here in the open section, there are more than 190 teams that are participating this year, starting from this 15 teams, which you can see on your screen that are the 15 top most seeded teams, according to the average rating. Here we are going to rate them into this tier list of gold medal contention, then normal medal contention, the dark horses, top tens and no chance basically. So let's get started with it. First team that we are going to look is, okay, it is the team uh, Poland. So in Poland, of course, Jan Krzysztof Duda is the well-known grandmaster, but other than him, I don't see, okay, Radoslaw is, uh, considerably strong player and popular player as well but the other two boards are looking very dicey so i would rate poland although their average rating let's say is 2658 and then their seed is 11 i don't see them going to the top 10 so let's put them in no chance after that we have one more team that is ukraine ukraine obviously ivanchuk uh, ruslan and andrei these three are pretty good players. Also, Anton is having 2650 rating. So here, pretty balanced team. Also, with the Ivanchuk's experience, they would have some gain in terms of the considerations of various games. I would like to put them in top 10. France. Obviously, here we are missing the well-known grandmaster, Ali Reza Firoja. If Ali Reza Firoja would have been there, I would have rated this team as dark horses but here let's not consider um, uh, Maxime Langreu a, a bit of a, a weak player because nowadays he is losing on his rating point he is not in that good shape so although I would like them to put them in top 10 but for now I would consider them no chance coming to the next team which is Spain so Spain here has Shiro, they have David Anton, they have Francisco, they have a pretty good team overall. Fourth board seems to be a slightly weak, but overall they are good looking. I would put them in top 10. Let's go to the next team, which is Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan here, obviously with Shakriyad Mamedyarov, as well as uh, Mamedorov are two pretty good players. Also, they have Abbasov Nijat, who was the candidate last time. But considering their current form and shape, apart from the Shakriyar Mamedyaro himself, uh, the team doesn't seem to be in a very good shape. So I would still like to put them in the dark horses. Um, okay, let's let's be at the top 10. I uh, will not put them in the dark horses still. Now coming to Iran, we have Param Maksudlu and Tabata by Amin. Other than that, I don't see much of the strength in the rest of the team, although they have brought some youngsters, but uh, this team, um, like the other board three and board four are just touching 2600, which is not looking that promising. I would put them in top 10 because of their team spirit, most likely. Other than that, we have Hungary, obviously the hosts, very fan favorite there. Now, considering them, I would like to put them in uh, Dark Horses. Here, the only problem which I foresee is uh, their fourth board. The fourth board doesn't seem to have that much of strength. The Sanan, the Peter Lacko, obviously, and Richard Rapport are very well-known names. Here, one thing to consider is that Peter Lacko is returning from, uh, from almost uh, five years of a chess break, although he was pretty active in terms of coaching and other stuff. I would like to put them in top 10. Let's go to the England team. Now in England, obviously we see Nikita, David Howell, who was the player of the tournament last year. We have Adams, we have Luke, Jones. Okay, pretty, pretty good team overall. And also they are eight seeded. Uh, considering their fourth board is uh, 2646 and 2611, um, I would still rate them pretty good here. I would consider them a top 10 team. 
So here our top 10 in, is getting crowded. Huh? As of now, we have not put anybody in the in the dark horse also. Oh, here comes the Magnus Carlsen, the goat player. He has lost a few of rating points lately, but he is in pretty good shape. Obviously, winning the Speed Chess Championship, beating Ali Reza Feroja very recently. They also have Sebastian and Ariantari. Uh, they look pretty good. Okay, I the my only concern is the board number four. But if the other three plays consistently good, I think they have a great chance. And also there comes a Magnus factor every time they play. So I would like to put them in top 10. Now here we come to Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan obviously comes up with the uh, top 4 seeded team. They have Nadirbek brothers, they have Sindaro, they have also have Samsiddin. So their team is looking pretty good although the uh, extra player is not that high rated but the other four are above 2650 this is the first team who is having all four players main four boards are above 2650 so let's put them in the medal contestation now considering germany we here have pretty good players but apart from the kaimer vincent who beat magnus carlsen two times in a row in the past they doesn't look that promising i would consider them uh, a top 10 kind of a players because they're all the boards are not uh, they are around 2650 roughly apart from the Kaimo win set so I'll put them in top 10 here we have the Netherlands which can pretty be the dark horses so here we have Anish Giri, Jordan Van Forest obviously the max is also pretty well-known player but they have problems with their board 4 where the high rated players are not there. Here I would like you to consider a fact that the Jordan Van Forest is out of the scene for quite a long time and Anish Giri is also not in that good shape. So considering those facts I would not put them in the dark horses I would still give them a top 10 ranking. Here comes the India. So now the Indian team obviously has uh, pretty good players in terms of their rating also. They are second seeded team, pretty young players, all of them considering Vidit also. So now uh, our fourth player being Vidit, Vidit Gujarati, obviously the top three don't require any introduction. And also don't forget that Hari Krishna Pentala's peak rating was 2775. So considering this team for a gold contestation, definitely. Now we are here with the Chinese team. So Chinese team, okay. Uh, we have Ding Liren, Wei Yi, Yu Yang Ei, and Bu Zingzai. Here the Wang Yui is also coming back to the Chinese team, which is pretty good to see. Um, Considering their strength, obviously, uh, the average rating, although it is 2724, but lately, uh, Ling Liren is not in that good shape. Also, Yu Yang Ei is not showing that much promising performance. Uh, obviously, Wei Yi is in pretty good shape lately, and obviously, he's a top 10 player. I would consider them a dark horse this time. Believe me, I'm not considering them for a, a definite medal contestation. Apart from this, obviously we have the seed number one, the favorites, United States of America, where they have Caruana Fabiano on the board number one, Wesley So, Levon Aronian and Domingues as well. Here they have Robson Ray, which is also pretty promising player, 2700 as their bench strength. Definitely considering them for a gold contestation here. So our overall list looks like this, where we have considered the the USA and uh, India in the gold contestation. We have Uzbekistan in the medal contestation and definitely we have China as the dark horses. Also here, I would like to consider uh, one more dark horse, which is which I would pick from the, from the um, top 10 is Hungary. So consider that Hungary has not only been showing the promising performance, 
but also with the Peter Lacko coming back and the home support, I'm considering this team to perform well this time. The only concerning part is board four, but I don't think that would be much of the problem. They guy, these guys are also 26, 28 and 2605. They just need to hold a draw. So I'm considering them as dark horses as well. So this would be the final list that I would suggest. Uh, hope you like this video. Uh, make sure to drop your comments and like this video so that I'll make one more tier list for the women's section as well. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.